Drug and alcohol addiction left Kimberly Williams homeless for about nine years. I love to experiment. But free art classes at a DC nonprofit filled her canvas and got her clean. Art is what I do opposed to taking a drink. Art is what I do opposed to, you know, getting high. These pieces are also coloring her bank account because Williams is selling her art on art lifting. It's a new online platform for disabled and homeless artists to sell their work. Liz Powers is a co-founder. So the biggest way that I measure impact is through the confidence building okay. and how that energizes oh, them in every crazy. aspect of their life. The money she made on art lifting allowed Williams to buy a Christmas gift for her son this year. If you keep going, it's something that you really, really love to do. Something good is going to happen. When Scott Brenner lost his job in the steel industry, medical bills put him on the street. He started looking for a job, but he also went back to his hobby, drawing. Sat down, talked to myself, and it's like, okay, I can make money with this stuff. I never really thought about it. For him, this was a huge new beginning. He had never sold artwork before, never had anyone really appreciate his talents like that. Um, he had been doing manual labor his whole life. Art lifting is not a nonprofit, and as a business, it's working. Powers and her brother invested $4,000 to start the project, and in one year, they made over $65,000 in revenue, selling artists' original artwork, but also monetizing it with prints, iPhone cases, and greeting cards. I love that. We really strongly believe that by being a sustainable business, will have a much higher impact. Now Brenner has housing and he even had a show on Boston's high-end Newbury Street. You almost feel like a little kid who broke a window and drew too much attention to himself. And you, geez, I didn't, you know, it's just these pictures I drew. But they are more than just pictures. There is pride and possibility between those lines. And there are dreams in Williams' ripples of color. Hopefully be shown in some more galleries, um, have my own website. So far, 40 artists are selling their strokes on art lifting, and the site has had over 400 customers. Powers hopes that someday art lifting will become a well-known source for art, art with a purpose. Kylie Atwood, CBS News, Boston.